And the Old Testament has a lot of places like that. But what we see in the New Testament is this big, bright light shining and just clarifying everything and making everything from the Old Testament much more clear. And just the teaching in the New Testament itself is a lot more clear as well, just the way that it's taught. So we're going to read the rest here of Ezekiel chapter 37, and then we're going to go and shine the light of the New Testament to really get the full picture of what's being taught here. Um, if you've been coming to our church for a while, this isn't anything new for you necessarily, but um, it's just one more example of a truth that God is teaching. And, and you know what that truth is? The truth is, is that the physical nation of Israel, there's a nation right now that exists in the Middle East, it's called Israel. And a lot of people think that they are God's chosen people because you read about Israel in the Bible, right? You read a lot about Israel in the Bible, especially in the Old Testament. There's, there's all kinds of stuff. And the reason why this is a big deal, and the reason, one of the reasons why I'm preaching on it again tonight is because there's an impact in our lives and there's an impact on people who want to support the nation of Israel because they think that is what a good Christian does. They think they're doing right by God by saying, well, we have to support Israel. We have to help them out. We have to bless them. We have to do whatever we can to help out our buddies Israel regardless of what they're doing is right or wrong, because we just have this Christian obligation to Israel because Israel's in the Bible. And it's foolishness. Because that is not what the Bible teaches. Israel was used as a nation to bring forth God's word, to be a lighthouse in a dark world. Yes, they were. They were chosen by God, going all the way back to Abraham, as a people that God was going to use to make his name known, to, to, to make people know who God was. And he did use them. And he raised up prophets among them that gave us the word of God. He raised up Moses. He raised up Ezekiel and Jeremiah. He raised up all these various people that helped to compile God's word. And for a while, they were under God's authority in the time of the judges. And even, you know, somewhat in the times of the kings, too, where they would look to God's law and look to God's word as being, hey, we are a people that has God as our ruler. We are a people that values God's word and we are going to live according to the Bible. That was the nation of Israel at one point in their history. Now, it's never been the entire group collectively. There's always been people that have, that, that have been stiff-necked and not receptive. But as a whole, that's who God was using to shine the light. So it did, there's definitely a reason for that. However, the covenant that he made with the people of Israel was a covenant that they weren't able to keep. There are people that want to teach that, oh, no, 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 this is an eternal covenant and that and, and basically what they're saying is that there is no way that that covenant could be broken, which is silly because, and I'm not going to go into all the details tonight. I've done this in the past. I really want to focus more on Ezekiel 37, but there are stipulations to God's covenant. Basically, it's the old covenant of keeping his law. And you know what? Just as much as we can't keep God's law completely today, the children of Israel weren't able to keep God's law then either. On our Wednesday night, we're going through the book of 2 Kings, and it's, it's evident. You see over and over again where they're not only in sin, but I mean, they're just worshiping idols. They're worshiping Baal. They're worshiping Satan, essentially, and rejecting God. Over and over again, they are breaking their covenant with the Lord. And as a result, even though God's long-suffering, even though God is patient, even though God gives them chance and opportunity after opportunity, he brings them prophets, he tells them to get on the right path, he does all he can do to get these people back right with him. At the end, when Jesus Christ comes, he comes unto his own and his own receive him not. The Jews rejected Jesus Christ. And at that moment, that was the last straw. 
that God has had enough with the people of Israel and using them. When they put Jesus Christ to death, he said, fine, we're done. I'm going to, and, and God wasn't done revealing himself. God wasn't done, you know, using people to promote his word. He just said, I'm done with the nation of Israel. 